episode, we're going to be talking today about Lynch syndrome, which used to be synonymous with hereditary non-polyposis colon cancer. However, you should know that it is hereditary, and as opposed to the normal risk factor colonic polyps that become malignancy, it is a colon cancer syndrome that is genetic. And there are a number of genes that are involved in the syndrome. That's why it's called the syndrome. It's a final common pathway for a number of oncogenes that could lead to increased cancer. And the cancers that we're worried about are GI, colon cancer, but also GU, and for neuro-ophthalmology, brain and skin. So the skin, periocular skin cancers, and the brain can present to neuro-ophthalmology either as a metastatic lesion or as a primary lesion. Because the problem is you have a hereditary oncogene that is failing to suppress tumors, and so it causes multiple tumors. Recognition of the Lynch syndrome is important, not only because we have the genetic test, but because it's autosomal dominant, which means half the progeny are going to be affected. And if we do the screening for the GI and GU, you can prevent cancer. So that's colonoscopy and GI and GU evaluations prophylactically in patients who don't have the cancer yet. So the whole goal is to prevent the cancer. So if you have a cancer gene, prevent the cancer by finding the cancer by having screening of all the relatives. Some people have everything removed. So to try and remove the cancer risk, they take out the organs that they may or may not think are important to them. That is an individual decision that has to be made with the individual patient and their physician. You should also know that there's a polyposis polyp version of colon cancer that comes to us in the eye. And that comes to us with multiple congenital hypertrophies of the retinal pigment epithelium. So if we see multifocal depigmented or pigmented lesions in the retinal pigment epithelium that look like chirpies, congenital hypertrophy of the retinal pigment epithelium, or they're bilateral, or they're atypical in some way, ovoid and multifocal, then that syndrome is that polyposis colon cancer syndrome, and that thing is called Gardner syndrome. So we've got the Gardner and the Lynch. One is polyposis, one is non-polyposis, different cancers, but have eye findings. And for the Lynch, we also have to be aware of a recently described finding, a RAM, which is a retinal arterial macroaneurysm. And normally the RAM is from hypertension, but the combination of RAM, retinal arterial macroaneurysm, and a history of cancer should prompt consideration for the Lynch syndrome.